rabbits. <laughs> what are you guys doing way up here? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I got ya. We're not missing a bit, are we? Let's check it out. What is it? Whoa! Did you guys see that? Something fell out of the sky. I think it was a... <gasps> Satellite! It's an important machine that lives up in space. People all around the world need satellites to use cell phones, computers, and the internet. Satellite? <laughs> Let's see where our new friend is from. It's an Orbit 5550. Space is a long way away. This little guy is far from home. Really, really far from home. How are we going to get him back up there? I don't know yet. But while we come up with a plan, you guys want to hang out with Orbit? Play? <laughs> Looks like Orbit's home is far away. It's going to take a lot of power to launch a satellite up to space. Yeah, something with a lot of kick. Bodasaur's got a lot of leg power. Enough to launch a satellite? <laughs> I think he does. We're gonna need a lot more room to launch Orbit to space, though. Come on, guys, to the park. Jack, can you give Orbit a lift? <laughs> I'm setting you for maximum leg power. Let's prepare Orbit for launch. Where is Orbit? And Jack? There you are! Bodasaur Express now boarding! Next stop, outer space! Come on! Safe flight home, Orbit! Launch in three! Two! Flowers for Careful, Jack! Don't bump Bodasaur! One! Launch! <laughs> He's headed the wrong way! Oh, no! <laughs> Orbit's going to crash again! We have to catch him! Come on, Jack! We have to save that! <laughs> Jack, you two okay? <laughs> I think the Bodasaur launcher idea needs a few adjustments. Yeah, it's definitely time for a new plan. The problem with the Bodasaur launch was that his feet are really powerful. They just can't aim. But if we strap Orbit into this jetpack rig, we can steer him home with this. <laughs> and we're good to go. Jack? Orbit? They're playing again? Jack! There you are! 
<laughs> it's time to try and get Orbit home again. Come on. <laughs> We'll steer you home. Ready, set, check! Initiating tracking app. So far, so good. We're right on course. We're losing power in Thruster 1. Now Thruster 2 is going out? It's totally out of power! Whirly! Nice save, Whirly. The jetpacks got great aim, but not enough power to get to space. Looks like we need a new plan. Right, Orbit? O orbit? Whoa! Cool. Jack made a little house for him. I guess he wants Orbit to stay. <laughs> Nice house for Orbit, Jack. You guys have become really great friends, but, you know, he can't stay here. His home is in space. Right, Orbit? <laughs> That's why we have to get Orbit back in space with the other satellites. <gasps> space! That's it! it. Let's combine it and design it! We take my go kart, add the thrusters from the jetpack, combine it with the house Jack made, put it all together, and we've got our plan. Because I have a surprise for you guys. A 
put a camera on orbit so we can talk anytime we want. <laughs> Who wants to go first? I'd like a turn. I kind of thought so. Orbit, come in orbit. <laughs> That's weird. We should see him. at the lake today? Big fish? You haven't heard a big fish? Guys, she hasn't heard a big fish. Uh -oh. <laughs> Who's big fish? He's the biggest, most ginormous creature in the history of big ginormous creatures. <laughs> uh, sorry, Bodasaur. Second biggest? <laughs> Ranger Anna knows big fish. She says he's the biggest and highest jumping fish in all of Sparkton Hills. Well, we're not going to see him jump if we don't show up. Let's go. Yeah. What are you looking at? Do you see it? The lake? Yeah. No, look a little closer. It's Big Fish! He's ginormous! And Sneezy? Gesundheit! Is he sick? Yep, he doesn't seem to be jumping as high as he normally does. He needs to see an animal doctor as soon as possible. And that doctor is me. Can't you just give him a checkup now? Not exactly. All the equipment I use to help sick critters is back at the animal park and way too big to bring out here. Well, if we can't move the animal park to Big Fish, then we need to move Big Fish to the animal park. Great idea, Rusty. But remember, fish are very delicate and need a lot of water. What if we use my trailer? We just need to make it a little more fish friendly. There, it'll be just like home. It's perfect. How are we gonna get Big Fish out of the lake and in the trailer? Easy, with the Fish Lure 6000. Cool, where is it? Right here. That's a worm. Exactly, or as I like to call him, the Fish Lure 6000. Are you sure you can catch Big Fish with one teeny worm? Yep, watch. I'm gonna fly out there, toss this little guy in the water using my grappling hook, and he'll lure Big Fish right into the trailer. Should work. I mean, what fish can resist a worm, right? Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. Let's do this. to find out what's wrong with him. Hold on. <gasps> Come on, big fish. You can make it. Big fish should jump into our trailer in three, two, what? Looks like you landed a big one. Good job, little guy. Now all we have to do is drive Big Fish back to the... <laughs> That fish has serious sneeze power. If Big Fish's sneezes are getting stronger, I think it means he's getting sicker. 
<laughs> Big fish, you should cover your mouth when you sneeze. Well, modifying the trailer into a giant fish tank didn't work. No, but I think we may have a fish bowl that will. Good idea, Ruby. We can use that to move Big Fish to the animal park. Let's get some bits on the fix. Ray, Rolly, Crush, and Jack, grab our scuba stuff. And Bodasaur, we need the biggest fish bowl you can find. <laughs> I don't think that fits you, Jack. <laughs> Buttersaur, you bring the bowl. Let's dive. Time to swim into this nice, huge bowl, Big Fish. We're going to take good care of you, okay? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, what if we use Big Fish's sneeze power to get him in the bowl? I'm in. Bodasaur, get ready to catch a fish in that bowl. <laughs> He's about to blow! <laughs> Oh, no! He doesn't fit! What now? <laughs> Perfect! Don't worry, Big Fish. We'll get you to the animal park soon. Come on, guys. Time for a new plan. The trailer and the bowl weren't big enough. <gasps> oh, and Big Fish is getting more sick. Too bad Big Fish can't breathe on land like you can underwater when you're wearing scuba tanks. Hold on! If Big Fish could breathe on land, we wouldn't need a tank or a bowl full of water to move him. But we'd still need to move him. It's not like he can fly. <gasps> or can he? Let's combine it and design it! We'll use the fishbowl. It would make a pretty good underwater helmet. Then we use the scuba tanks. We can fill them with water instead of air. Combined with the jetpack, we can make sure he gets to Anna's faster than fast. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Ah. <laughs> 
you okay now, Anna? You bet! Before you know it, he'll be jumping as high as ever. Hi, Ranger Anna. How is Big Fish doing today? Hi, kids! I was just checking up on him. He's doing so much better. That's awesome! Check this out! Wow! He's still the highest jumping fish in Sparkton Hills.